Are you struggling to find the right colors to use when making your own Minecraft skin? In this video, we will give you an in-depth tutorial on how to hue shift and make your colors pop. Let's start with explaining the word hue shifting. Hue shifting is when you change colors on the color wheel, which in return creates a gradient of colors not within the same family. Here's an example of the difference between hue shifting and not hue shifting. The bottom line stays within the same red family and it makes it lighter and darker by using black and whites, whereas the top line has a variety of colors such as yellows, reds, and purples seen here. The reason we want to hue shift is to make the palette aesthetically appealing, uh, making your skin look more alive with color and not so dull. This video, we are using the platform Planet Minecraft to make our skins. You can find the link to it in the description below. If this editor is a little too complicated for you, we recommend using the Skindex. A link to that editor will also be in the description. To start you shifting a color, you have to consider the value of your color. Say we have the shade orange. If we look at the color palette, we see that the colors such as yellow and light green are visually lighter than orange. If we were to create shadows for the color orange, we'd want to use colors that are visually darker than our starting color. For this instance, those darker colors would be red, purple, and blue. When we use shift, we don't want to overdo it. When using warm colors, we want to usually shade it with other warm colors. And same goes for cool toned colors. So using blue, a cool tone, to shade orange, a warm tone, would be b too big of a step. To keep it nice and balanced, we can use red. Now that we know what color to use, we need to know what right shade of it to select. Whenever you choose a shadow tone, we want to desaturate and darken. Desaturating means making the color less bright and more dull. We do this so the shadow color does not clash with the base color. We can add a transition color in between these steps so the contrast isn't too big. Now say we want to highlight the color orange. We'd use the colors that are visually lighter, like we pointed out earlier, yellow or light green. Since again, light green, a cool tone, is, very, is a very big step from orange, we don't want to overdo it. So we will use yellow, which is a warm toned color. For highlights, you want to saturate and lighten the color. Saturating means making the color more bright. This makes the color pop out from the base color. We can practice again with a different color. Let's take green as our starting color and apply everything we've learned to figure out a good shading and highlight color. Looking at the color palette, we see green is a cool toned color. We can also see that within the cool toned section, the lighter shades are light green, and the darker shades are blue. So we can add those colors to our color palette. Now we are going to choose the right value of the highlight and shadow. Let's do the shadow first. Remember, we want to desaturate and darken the shadow, so that's what we're going to do with this blue. For this highlight, we're going to lighten and saturate it. After that, we are just going to add some transition colors. Now we have a nice and balanced color palette. Feel free to use this technique on any other color and practice a little bit more. Okay, so we will be showing and explaining the three main components of applying this information onto a skin. This will include clothing, skin tone, and hair. For clothing, there aren't many rules to go by since they're, it's really up to the creator and what they want to make. Uh, this goes by using neon colors, pastel colors, dark, light, etc. However, this doesn't necessarily apply to skin tones and hair tones. Um, when choosing skin tones, there's a few notes you want to take into account when doing so. Choosing a base color, there is a difference between uh, dark skin tones and light. 
Uh, you don't want to make a dark skin tone too super saturated, seeing that this would be very unnatural and cause them to look very orangey or red. Instead, choose a color that is a bit more desaturated for a natural look. Whereas a lighter skin tone, you want it to be more saturated and bright rather than dull. Making it saturated will bring life into the skin tone. We will then apply the process of hue shifting and desaturating the skin tone as we shade. Now we will be discussing natural hair colors such as blonde and brown. Um, when creating blonde hair, you don't want to automatically choose a super bright yellow color. Keeping the color within the light desaturated orangey hue can give off a very natural light blonde color look. To shade blonde, you want to apply the same rules with desaturating to give off a nice brownish color for the shadows. Lastly, brown hair has a wide variety of tones you can use. We generally want to keep it within the red and orange range for the base color. However, you do want to use mid to desaturated colors for the base color rather than bright. Um, we want to apply the desaturated process as we hue shift to show contrast and harden our shadows. When using highlights, it's okay to use a more uh, saturated color as you brighten it up. We hope this helped you with your colors and wish you good luck in making your own skins. Feel free to send them to us in our DMs on TikTok or Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.